Hey there guys, welcome back. In this video, let us take a look at the Mr. Robot 1 CTF challenge from the Ball Hub. So this is going to be a theory video, but anyways, I'm sure that by end of this video, you will be able to crack the Mr. Robot 1 CTF challenge and also you will be able to capture the three hidden flags. So the aim in Mr. Robot 1 CTF challenge is to find the three hidden flags. So if you want to enumerate and do a lot of stuff, so you can do it. So our main aim is to find the three hidden flags. So the first flag is easy to find and the rest two flags are really very difficult. So but anyways, according to me, the Mr. Robot 1 CTF challenge is like moderate level. For me, it is really very easy. But anyways, let us go through the hacking phases. So over here, I have named some hacking phases through which I went through the Mr. Robot. So you can take a look at it. And this blog post link will be in the description box below. So you can follow according to me. So you can follow accordingly. So the first thing what we are doing is finding the IP address. So you can enter the app scan minus L or you can go with the net discover command and then you can find the IP address of your target. So my IP address is 192.168 which ends with 4. And then what we will be doing is running an nmap scan. So most probably everyone will be doing the nmap scan. So even I did the nmap scan and I didn't find anything interesting. So I ran a full port scan and also I ran a minus A that is for the operating system and the service. So over here I didn't find anything interesting. We can see the port 22 is closed and the port 80 is open and the 443 is also open. Over here the 443 is using the HTTP not the HTTPS. So then what I did is I want to access the website or the targeted website. So I just entered the target um, like the HTTP and the target IP address. So the website looks something like this and over here you can just enter these commands. So they have given some commands and uh, you can just enter these commands and most probably you will be not finding any information. So you have to stick to the point. So what the aim is, we have to find the three hidden flags. So our aim is to find only the hidden flags. If you want to just play with the commands, you can just play with it, but you will be not finding any useful information. Then what I did is I ran a vulnerability analysis using the Nikto scan. So I just entered Nikto minus H, HTTP and uh, you should enter HTTP in front. If you just enter the IP address, it will be taking it as HTTPS. So make sure you enter HTTP in front. And over here, what interesting thing I got is I found that it is running the PHP 5.5.29. And also I found that it is using the WordPress. That is, so if it is using the WordPress, we can access the login page by just entering wp-login. So if we can just enter the login page and we can do the brute force. And also I found an important directory that is the slash robots.txt and where it says that it is leaking some data so that I enumerated the robots.txt. So you can just enter this URL. So once you enter this URL, you can find two files over here. So the first thing what I see is the key one of three dot txt. So once I saw this, I, I, I thought that it is going to be the first flag. So I just enter this. That is the key one of three dot txt. So as soon as I enter, I found the first flag. So just you can you can just copy it and paste it somewhere. So this is the first flag we have got it. And still there are two more flags. And then what I did is over here, we can also find that there is a file called fsociety.dic. So I also entered the fsociety.dic in the URL. So as soon as you enter this URL, you can see that it, it starts to download. So we can just download this uh, for the brute forcing in the WordPress. So we know that it is using the WordPress site. So the target website is using the WordPress and PHP version 5.5.29. So we can just do a brute forcing in the login page and we can just get in. And I found that uh, for the word list, this is going to be a helpful one. So I just downloaded the fsociety.dix. So basically DIC means dictionary. So that's how I found it. And then I cracked the WP scan. Uh, and then I cracked the WordPress using the WP scan. So WP scan is um, mostly used to cra uh, crack the WP, uh, the WordPress websites. So it is easy to crack. So what I did is I enter WP scan minus U and the target website and minus minus username. So I have entered the Elliot over here. 
So the username is Elliot because you know in Mr. Robot his name is Elliot. So that's how I know the username is Elliot. And I went to the minus minus passwords. So I, I made a mistake over here. It is not minus minus password. You should enter yes over here. So it is yes. And uh, you can just enter the uh, fsocity.dig over here. And uh, I think the WP scan has changed the syntax over here. So in the previous version, it was minus minus word list. So today only I have noticed that WP scan has made a lot of changes in the syntax. And also I have made changes in my uh, well WP scan tutorials. So you can take a look at it. And also I have made a tutorial on a video tutorial on the WP scan. You can take a look at that also. So all these will be in the playlist. It will be arranged properly. You can take a look at it. So basically we are attacking the, let's come back, basically we are attacking the WordPress site. So as soon as we enter the Elliot and the Elliot.txt, so this is the custom password list I have generated. He can just go with the fsociety.dic. So as soon as you enter, it takes a lot of time, I guess. So that's how, that's why I just went with the custom password list. And then you will be finding Elliot uh, and the password. And then what you do, what you're doing is you can just go to the target slash WP minus uh, login. You can just enter Elliot and the password over here. So the password is this one and you can just log in. And then simultaneously what we are doing is we are generating a PHP backdoor. You can generate the PHP background, uh, sorry, the PHP backdoor using the MSF Venom or you can also go with the MSF console. So in MSF console, you can just enter MSF console and just go to the terminal and enter generate and you can just copy this and paste there. And then you will be getting this uh, these quotes so these are the back doors you can just copy it so in my case I use the MSF Phenom so MSF Phenom minus P and PHP this is for the version so it is using the PHP of course the WordPress sites use the PHP and Metaprita and reverse TCP so we are using the reverse TCP and over here I enter the L host so in the place of L host what you are entering is your Kali Linux system IPv4 address enter your Kali Linux system IPv4 address and then in L port sorry in L port you can go with 1234 or any port number you can go with so basically 1234 most probably it will not be engaged so you can go with it and minus F raw and then as soon as you enter just copy from this um, greater symbol to die and over here just copy till here so you will be copying from here to here just copy it and go to this url so you should enter your your target ip address so if you just go to this url that is the wp content slash theme slash 2015 so the 2015 is the default theme in wordpress and just go to this uh, url and you will be seeing this edit theme so in the place of themes what you are doing is just remove the theme and you are paste, uh, you are just pasting the backdoor. So once you have pasted the backdoor, just give update settings and uh, just cl click on save. So as soon as you click on save, do a reverse connection using the Metasploit. So open the Metasploit and just enter MSF console and just say use exploit slash multi slash handler. And then we are setting the payload as PHP metaprita slash reverse TCP. And now you know why we are using the PHP metaprita reverse TCP. In the PHP background, uh, sorry, the backdoor, and then we are setting the L host. So over here, you will be setting an L host name. So this is the Kali Linux system L host. So just enter the L host over here. You are just setting the uh, L host. So you just say set L host and the Kali Linux IP address and set L port one two three four. So just enter the L port you have entered over here. So I have entered the one two three four, and yeah, just set the L port. And then give exploit. So as soon as you click exploit, just wait for the metaprita to uh, metaprita shell to open. So what you want to do is just go to this link and just enter your target IP address over here. And just go to this link. So once you go to this link, open in a new browser and go to this link. So as soon as you go to the list, this link, a metaprita shell will be open. And then now we should find a further. We should do a further enumeration to find the rest of the two flags. So what we are doing is, as soon as you go to the metaprita shell, you just do a cd home, so it is uh, just a normal enumeration. And then we are just listing. And then I have found that cat key 2 of 3.txt. 
and then I thought that this is going to be the second flag but it is not the second flag. So what it says is core underscore channel underscore open which says operation fail which means we need a root access. So to get the root access what we are doing is uh, we are just entering cat password dot raw minus md5. So there are two files over here. There is the key two of three dot txt and the password dot raw minus md5. So from the md5 we can say that it is in the md5 hash. So we can see the hash over here. So you can just copy the hash and you can just go to the md5 generator and uh, you can decode it. You can decrypt it. So the password is from a to z that is from a b c d to x y z. So you can find the password over here and then what we are doing is you can just uh, one, once you just enter this you can just say shell and you can just say python minus c so it is a normal enumeration so you can just enter python minus c over here you can see there is a single quote and over here there is another single quote make sure you enter this you can just copy it and paste it and then what i enter is se robot so as soon as you enter SC robot, so over here we can see that we are entering as a robot. So basically Mr. Robot, robot, this is a root user I guess. So as soon as you enter SC robot, it will be asking for password. Enter the password, the password uh, that is the ABCD to XYZ. So enter it and then what we are doing is list it. So as soon as you list, you can see the cat key 2 of 3txt You can see the file over here and you can find the second flag. So we have found the second flag and then we should find the last flag. To find the last flag it is uh, really very difficult to find it because it is um, very very difficult to find. It is uh, hidden very well. So what I did is I have just entered find slash minus perm minus u. So it is just uh, like uh, enumerating all of these for all of these directories. So what it does is it just lists all of these uh, all of these directories from the slash bin slash user and then what we are entering is nmap minus minus interactive as soon as you enter nmap minus minus interactive so I saw that nmap minus minus interactive is over here so I just entered that same command and then once you enter the same command yeah then we will be getting the uh, root user we will be getting the nmap shell and then once you enter the exclamatory sh we will be getting the root user and then you can just enter id cd slash uh, root and then ls minus lsa you can just say ls and then cat key 3 of 3 dot txt and then that's it we have got the uh, we have got the final flag so that's it for the mr robot uh, one hub challenge so according to me it is really very easy challenge so i don't want to make a video on this but anyways this uh, blog post will be helpful for you guys so if it is helpful so if you are stuck in between the mr robot challenge and th this blog post helped you you should give a like to this uh, video and and i hope this video will be helpful for you guys and see you next video guys and also make sure you follow me on the twitter and also catch me on the discord uh, yeah that's it see you next video guys